Hello guys, and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls, part six now to my playthrough. I've been thinking to myself just before I loaded up my webcam and my recorder and stuff, and I thought to myself, you know what? How about for this part, we try and see how much we can get done in the in the game and see if we can try and beat the game. If we can beat it in this part, that'd be great. If not, then we can just try and play as much as we possibly can. Let's just see how it all goes, okay? Conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailong Jiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and the other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the human world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Shove them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Great, so we've got work with Ryan and the people that we did the training with in previous spots. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Jody, I... You know what? Don't even try. Great. <laughs> Just remind you, reminding you how much of a douchebag you are, Ryan. Okay? I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? I don't... Where are you? I think she was having a bad dream or something. Something like that. So hopefully you're all having a marvelous day today. That you're all safe and well, guys. Let me know what you've been up to today. You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The job's getting worse. What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? All right, let's try and find some shelter. Hmm. Ooh. There's a house over there. Got it. Let's go.
move towards the house people Snow for nothing. Fuck. I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey, look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complain. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, let's just see what we can interact with in this area. Fuck it. Everything's wet. Let me try. Damn, all this stuff is soaking. <clears throat> We better find something, and we won't make it through the night. You know, got explosives. what else there is. Alright, let's speak to Ryan. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. <laughs> well, I still think you're an asshole, unfortunately. End of the day, you can't really forgive someone if you've made out it was a warlord and then you sent me in to go and kill a president. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. I swear we didn't have gloves on just though. Vehicles like pushing through the area, which could mean a sign that we are near enemy territory. Right, so we better get back and tell the others what's going on. Follow 
All right, ladies. Okay, Suffo, get up, okay? Go, go, go. Just gotta keep moving. Go try and catch up to the vehicles. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. No problem. I'm on it. Whoa. Is that a submarine or a boat or something? Looks like a submarine. Got office with so I think that's got a soldier in there. Yep, got a soldier there. Looks like we've got two submarines. Soldiers. They're loading crates into... into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. No problema. That's what we're good at doing. Right, we need to find the closest soldier because obviously we've got to think of the distance between me and Aiden, so... Interact with this guy. Alright. I'm sorry, my friend, but game over. go to that office. I'm assuming if it's going to be well fortified, it's probably going to have a control panel or something to open the door or something. That's what I'm guessing. Or there's a button somewhere we can press. But either way, we need to investigate everywhere in the area. Right. Um... Ooh, magic button. Look around and investigate, I guess. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to check them offices. Because there might be some important intel or anything in there that might be able to help me to figure out what to do next. Because obviously I'm, I'm assuming maybe they've got like a layout, a map of the compound or something in there, or maybe... It feels like we missed something. I don't know, something. This way. So let's have a little nosy around see what we can find. Hmm. 
Got a lot of cargo in this area as well. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well... Maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about it's us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. All right, it's me and Ryan on the mission. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Life or death situation. But either way, we're going into it. We've got to see what we can do. And hopefully, we can get the job done. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. The mad thing and the mad fact that we're going to drive a submarine to try and find a base. This is just insane. Visibility's bad. It's hard to get my bearings. Well, we're doing a good job so far though. We haven't smashed this thing up yet, so it's all good. And if it did smash it up, take into consideration, I don't even have a license for this thing. Okay? We'll be doing good. Keep moving now. There. Just keeping an eye so I can see anything. Oh. We found the base, boys. We found the base. Uh, I hope that wasn't a question. I am impressed. Few men would have held that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? No answer, no questions. 
That looks painful. All you have to do is answer. And your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. Oh my god. Sliced open his eye. So unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer. I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. My God, this guy's An ruthless. Agent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Okay, so we've seen an event that's probably going to happen at some point in the future, and then going back to what's happening now. So one thing I do like with this game, it does confuse you a little bit, throws you off a little bit because you go from being in the past to the future back to the past again, multiple times. We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. It's loads of guards. Jody, don't get too close to them. You can't just wait here. Oh. And I'm guessing this is how we end up being in that room. Jody! Jody, what's happening? What is that? Is that like an Eve Infra World sort of like shield barrier? It is, it's stopping us from like getting through. Maybe that thing was hurting Aiden or something. Alright, so we've got to find a way to get to Jody, I guess. I just saw when I saw Jody hit the floor, it looked like she was being pulled away from Aiden. So, uh, that's why I got the conclusion, maybe it's like some shield barrier or something. I got the football on there. It's alright though, we can do this. Must be away. I didn't. I need you. Okay. You在这干什么？这没你什么事，为你的隐去去。我的天哪！ Really? What douchebag? Alright. 
we go back in there, show them who's boss? Ah, okay. This looks like we need a weapon. That's probably why. Guess we need to take him out. Don't mind me taking this, do you? Oh, great. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be in this room. <sighs> we need to improvise. I guess I need a new guard uniform or something because I'm assuming this particular officer or guard cannot go inside them particular rooms. I guess we need to find a new target or something. But can we walk through there? Okay, maybe we can't. Where are you, Aiden? I'm trying to come to you, okay, Jody. I just need trying to need trying to figure out what I need to do right now because I'm kind of confused. Ah, that'll do. Can we break anything in this room? Hang on. I've got an idea. If I can't go in there, let's go inside here. I guess we need to get a weapon from here. Night night. Now we can get a weapon. Aiden. Why won't you let me go for the door? Literally, guys, it's not letting me leave the room. Hang on, I'm just, uh... Alright, can I... Take a different type of approach towards the door to try and get out. Because he just wasn't letting me leave the room. There we go. Right, so we need to go in here now. I'm guessing we need to. I'm guessing this switch that we were trying to interact with before helps me to uh, proceed forward. I'm guessing. You right, boys? Trying to, Jody. Okay. I can't do anything at the moment. I'm kind of stuck. It wasn't letting me move then. Oh my days! The entities on the ship. Oh my god. Nothing else we can interact with in the area. Alright, I'm coming to you now, Jody. I'm coming. Let's get you back in your feet, girl, okay? Let's do this.
wanted to heal. Come on, we could do this. There we go. Come on, bro, you need to get up. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? Bus. Quick. Come on, dude, I need you to get up on your feet, okay? So it looks like we're doing this one alone. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Where are the explosives? Right, I've got them. God, entities are everywhere. Be somewhere we can go. Come on. So we've got to go this way. <sighs> Come on, we could do this. It's going to take it nice and easy, and hopefully, these entities don't cause me too much of a nuisance. Okay, so we're not going through that door. Like it or not, we're not going to be able to progress that, that far ahead. Let's look at this place. That must be the portal that we just seen for that window. So where do we gotta go now though? That's the question. Oh, we gotta go on the water. 
Okay. Scuba dive suit is a ready. <laughs> that is some very unique scuba diver suit. It's like a mech suit. entities down here as well, so we need to be really careful. Kind of reminds me of the ones that we saw before at that lab place in the hospital. Remember in the previous parts, guys? If you haven't already seen that part, then I see to, there's a playlist on the channel where you can check out any of the remaining parts that I've done on this playthrough. In case you missed any of them, check out the playlist, okay? But one of the previous parts, but to go inside a, of a laboratory, like, it's kind of like a hospital, but it's like a laboratory at the bottom of it. And we had to close down this like condenser thing. Um, similar to this, but it was absolutely insane. No, I mean, this is just taking it to a whole new level. <laughs> Shutting down a condenser rift portal thing under the water. No. Guessing these things that we're putting the uh, explosives on, these are kind of like beacons, like they're like control posts. So I reckon if we destruct these beacon posts, then it'll probably bring the whole thing down and close the portal for good. That's what I'm assuming. Keep moving. Got some like entity dragon monster trying to kill me right now. Come on, Jody, we can do this. Quick, 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 get up the ladder. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Did you pay for what you've done? Entity just ripped straight through his body. We need to leave like right now. We've got some entity sea monster trying to kill me. Come on, Jody, run, run, run. Gotta keep moving. Oh, get off me. I haven't got time for this. You guys are all gonna be left here to die anyway. Damn it, we need to keep moving, we need to move, 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 move. Oh my god. Move, move, move! Come on. Can do this. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, great. Where's the submarine gun? Down, huh? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. That was close time. You'd see the explosion just happen as just as we leave. We're gonna have to start swimming then. Come on. Come on, Jody, keep moving, keep moving. Come on. Hopefully, we made it to the surface alive. Imagine how cold they are. Fuck me. Fuck 
I hate the cold. Sorry, but you're I. No, that's okay. You made the right choice. I would have done the same thing. You still angry with me? No. They don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on, don't die. Come on, you can't die on me. Don't die. Dragon's Hideout. Man, this game's getting more and more and more intense. <laughs> I'm hoping that we didn't die. Hopefully, I hope that we did make it. I'm hoping. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. Poor night try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. Where's that lady? Is that her mother? Why is this person here? I think it's a mother. I'm not gonna lie, this is creepy as hell. I just wanna know who this person is and why they keep showing up. I think it's a mother, I'm not sure.
in this Nathan's office? Nathan? What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jill. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. I'm a... Laura. I love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Poor Nathan. I missed them so much. Proper grieving over him. <sighs> Poor Nathan. He just wants to be with his family again. Poor guy. Alright, so on to the mission Black Sun. Now, see how many missions we've done? We've done literally quite a lot of missions. Over the space the of the parts that we've done. The Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now, we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space or developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. So you want to try and conquer Aiden's world. I'd love to see him try. I think Aiden would make a snack out of him. You okay, Ryan? Pentagon top brass getting you down? They were busy talking about their plans to take over the world. So I left them to it. We played our part in all of this. We did the right thing. I don't think humanity needs a third world war. What are you going to do now? Leave. A normal Go life. Somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <laughs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I... I know it's been complicated between us, 
And I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. And I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. Yeah, we, we have something in common. We both care about you. Except. Let's try. <laughs> As long as you don't turn into a douchebag, it's all good. To make you happy, and you'll forget about all this. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few. Never say no to a single malt. Great. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody. Nathan's waiting. Go on, Carl. Take me to Nathan. So, things are looking good so far. Ryan's a good guy. And I think he really cares about you. I know. It's just... Me and Aiden are so weird. It's hard to know how things will turn out. I wonder what Nathan wants us for. We've done our mission. So does that mean we get like our deed now? And does that mean we're free? Because he did say if we complete the mission, we'll be free. So I'm assuming by that it means no more C like CIA, no more problems, right, no more bad guys, and nothing trying to kill oh, us. Done, I can pick you up. <laughs> Whatever Nathan says. Why have we got to be careful about Nathan? I'm in. It's like it's like a dad figure, so it's so why would we have to be careful? <clears throat> Jody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Really? You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. $500,000 for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Thank you. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. Sure. When my what, Nathan? Wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Hanging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, 
by them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Give me your hands. Hopefully this is a good idea. I'm doing this to help you, Nathan, okay? Let him go, okay? I hope you find peace. Stand how much he's grieving because he wants his family, he wants his wife and his daughter. But you've got to let him go, bro. Okay? It might be hard, but you need to, because you're just you're hurting them. I need to figure out where I need to go. Really? We've been in this situation multiple times now. Good to see you again. 
Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. Oh, no! A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Julie. We will always Grateful for your help. So it was Nathan and the CIA that did this to Jody's mother. And they're going to do the same thing to us. Come on, I don't want to die. Especially when we're born in a permanent coma. Jody. man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. Beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything's gonna turn out fine. Come on, Nathan. Don't want to be doing that. If you if he does that and there's other things beyond in the ether world that will end up killing everybody, it's just gonna cause a massive, massive apocalypse. <clears throat> Come on, when you get out of here. You're too weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. <laughs> Cole. Hey, I've got a couple Ryan. of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Need your help, guys. Come on. Come on, I need you to help me. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? This is a joke, it's not funny. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody Aiden. Show us the way. All right. We got their attention. Right. Now where? Let's 
You guys coming or not? Oh, they're not coming, are they? I need to... My bad. I need to, like, give them directions on which way to go. Right. This way. Over there. Come on, boys. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Level four security. Man. Shit, the guard. Uh, leave it to me. Can I help you? Cole Freeman, I have a level three authorization. He's with me. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. All right, great. You gotta get us past Maiden. I'll think of something, okay? It's gotta be something we can do to his attention. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's down there. Come on. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? Sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. So, which room is it? Ah, oh, it's in that room. So we need to get him come round here. Show me where you want me to go. Jody's here? Come on, help me. Jody. Get there. Get there. Oh. Oh. Nathan. He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. He thinks he's gonna get his family back. And we gotta stop him. Oh, great. Oh my god. Nathan, what have you done? 
containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Let me get out of here like now. Hurry up! Don't stay here! We gotta we gotta go back to this place now! Oh my god. There's entities and everything. This is insane. Not gonna work if Nathan's deactivated it. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the InfoWorld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Major Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. Oh, gonna die. Shut up, old man. We gotta do something. Where do we need to go, Aiden? I don't know where I need to go. with me. Come in here. Hurry! We're out of time. We're not out of time. We're gonna sort this. Just let me figure out what I need to do, okay? There's gonna be something we can do. Oh man. Out of everything I never thought I'd see Nathan go insane. I can understand that you know he's grieving because he lost his wife and his daughter due to that car accident with a drunk driver. But man, I did think you'll end up doing something stupid like this. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clean up their own fucking mess. Well, I'm coming with you, my friend. I'm gonna be coming with you. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? I always figured I'd die a hero. Alright, let's go. The black sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. So Nathan's basically we're gonna end up killing us all. Cheers, Nathan. Ah, oh, great. More field training. The condenser zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. 
Go, 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 go. Joe, don't get too close to that. Go. Don't attract attention, or we're dead. Huh. So we can't let these things see us because we'll be mincemeat. We'll become an entity food. Okay, and that's the last thing that we want. Right, go, 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 go! Oh my god. Alright, we need to move, 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 move. I thought it was going to get me then. I was so bricking it out, I thought it was just going to eat me. I was thinking, no! Right, go, 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 go. One down, two to go. Just me and Ryan now. Cole's a good character as well. I actually do like Cole as a character. He's pretty cool. He's a dead nice guy. Who knows what we're going to find in here, guys. Let's keep moving forward. Hopefully, we can be guided in some form of direction where we need to go. You see, like, souls in here. Full of souls. My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? No. No, I. Ryan? Oh my god. Keep moving, Jody. Nathan? I can't find them. I call them, but they don't come. 
Nathan. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Your anger has changed you. I miss them. I miss them so much. Let me pass, Nathan. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. Come on, Nathan, do the right thing. No! Nathan! Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. He's been reunited with his family. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody, I'm going to follow There you are. What happened? He found what he was looking for. Come on. We gotta keep moving. How big is this place? Is this like a whole new world completely? Because this place feels massive. Oh no, got entities. No! Come on, Jody, gotta keep moving. Come on, Jody, we can do this. I hope Ryan's gonna be okay. I don't want him to die. Keep moving. Come on. We inject you with a new acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your doctor. It's too late, It's too late. Come on, keep moving. Come on. Get off me. She's slotting all 
witch. What did you do with oh, the we're transforming from different versions of ourselves. Get off me! Come on! Can't let these spirits stop us. Come on, Jody, you're almost there now. Keep going. I'm sick and tired of your stories! Jody, this time you're really gonna get it! Aiden isn't just an entity. He's Jody's brother. We couldn't leave each other. I'm guessing because of a parent's abilities. Aiden became an entity that was combined with Jody. I hated you for years. You were a part of me. Oh my god. Where are we? There's two worlds. Another sign. Another world. Becoming the wind, the stars, the universe. What's this? Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. So you can have a choice between life or death. Beyond or life. I think I'm gonna have to pick life. Hopefully I've made the right decision. Dead? Or alive? I'm guessing 
guessing if we chose to go beyond, we probably would have died. But we I survived. Did. All that time, Aiden was our brother. Jordy, we made it. Aiden? It was a big sacrifice because if we went to beyond we could have been with Cole, Nathan and the rest of the people that died and Aiden in an afterlife world but because we chose to stay alive I'm guessing we've lost Aiden for good now but we then we live a normal life with Ryan I'm guessing that's how it's gonna go but does that mean Aiden's dead is that does that mean he's gone I hope he isn't because, man, it's so intense and so emotional. You know what I mean? It's, you get so ingra like, in engraved into these characters and just finding out now that Aiden's our twin brother. You know what I mean? It's insane. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of me. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments. Now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. It's okay, Jody. It's okay. I'm all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. I'm sure he misses you too.
Carl Freeman. Carl was a good man. It took months. Months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. Right. So obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved Ryan. I've been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. Scott finally got a happy ever after. It's just a shame that Aiden isn't there to see it. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. Look at that, guys. Beautiful beach. In the middle of nowhere. Two lovebirds on an island together. It's very romantic, you know what I mean? Gone. <laughs> I did. Still with us. We didn't lose him. Nah, that's brought a smile to my face knowing that he's still with us. This is beautiful. It really is. See things at night. Ooh. 
terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Oh, what the hell's this? Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. Is that New York City? I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. <laughs> now that's why I call dropping it on a cliffhanger. I don't know, boys. I don't know. I'm happy that Aiden's still alive. I'm happy that we've got a good ending. I'm sure there's multiple endings to this game. Obviously, from the choices where we can choose to go beyond and choose who we could have, you know, spent our lives with, because obviously we had the options. But. I'm happy with the outcome we've got, and seeing that little ending there, that little cutscene. I don't know, maybe one day, just one day, we might see Beyonce Souls too. I don't know. I hope it happens. I really do, because this story has just been incredible. I mean, literally incredible, and I've loved every single moment of it. But if you've enjoyed it too, then all I ask, guys, is that you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe, okay? This is my playthrough, my entire playthrough from start to finish on Beyond Two Souls. If you missed any of the parts, I'll leave a link down below in the description to my previous parts. As well, there is a playlist on the channel where you can check out all the videos and much, much more. But I just want to say thank you for watching. The entire team that have made this game are just incredible. Literally are incredible because, man... Probably one of the best stories I could ever experience in a video game. And I hope to see more of these in the near future. So I'm going to leave the credits up on the screen now, guys. So you can see all see all the names of all the great people that participated in the making of this game. And I'll leave, see you all again next time in another brand new video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.